happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, hey, in out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd Herbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us we have the Sanjin 909X2, and I perform a daytime medium wave band scan. First score features, second I'll do a size comparison, third I'll start cruising the daytime band. So let's check it out, the Sanjin 909X2. Say that five times fast. Um, currently, you can get this for $225 on Amazon. I'll have links below if you're interested in this radio. Uh, kind of mixed feelings about the radio. It has a lot of cool features. I'm very excited about the upgrades that it does have. Uh, but mine has a couple issues, and we'll go over them. Uh, and you can decide if this radio is for you. There's a lot of happy users out there with their radios. Um, my particular one, I have a few problems similar to a guy in Europe. Uh, hopefully he's watching this and he'll get an idea uh, what I'm talking about. I get spurious tones on medium wave on certain frequencies. Somewhat noticeable during the day, very noticeable in the evening. We'll see if we can pick them up during the day and I'll show you what I mean. Overall though, the medium wave has improved over the previous model. So let's go ahead and check out features of the Sanjin uh, 909X2, the ultimate radio they're calling it. Left-hand side is very similar to the older model. We have a AM external antenna, so you can hook up an uh, antenna like a twin coil, C-crane, uh, to this radio, and it'll tune in medium wave, which we're going to do that in the future with this radio. Auxiliary in, we can hook up an MP3 player, uh, and you can turn on, dis, uh, disengage the receiver and listen to the auxiliary in with this button here. We have recording. Uh, we have a line-out jack and a standby. This is a switch, so if you're using like the... I think of what the DAR-101 by Sanjin, uh, they work together. You can actually program three different uh, programs, and the radio will turn on when the program starts and turn off at a certain time. And uh, yeah, it's a really neat setup. I'll start recording your radio shows. Headphone jack for FM stereo listening. Here we have a gain control for the medium wave uh, and short wave. So it's an attenuator. As you can see, it goes to minimum to max. We'll leave it on max. Uh, typically, max is good for during the day. Uh, DC input, 9 volts, 1.2 amps. It comes with the AC adapter, which is nice. Note polarity is normal. For the radio, we have a nice 3-inch speaker. Again, upgraded from the previous model. Definitely has better audio quality. I like it a lot. Uh, really nice on FM with the music. It's got a tone control switch here, which I'll show you in a moment. Very happy with this. A large LCD display, very nice. They did a great job. Uh, it shows local time. It's 10.55 a.m. Central Standard Time, and I'm near Chicago, Illinois. And uh, you can have world time up here. I'll show you the buttons so I can change this to show UTC if I'd like. Um, over here, you'll have a signal strength indicator, 10 bars, page number for your presets. You'll have a uh, name. You can name your presets, which is really nice for medium wave. And down here it has the preset number you're on. Now presets. This radio ships with six, 1,674 presets. That's divided into three banks. So you divide 1,674 by three. And each bank has uh, a set of uh, presets. You get 45 air, 36 FM, 27 for medium wave, which isn't a lot, but it's enough, I think. Uh, nine on long wave and 441 on short wave. Though I think they could have put more for medium wave than short wave, I don't get 441 short wave stations. <laughs> I, I get a handful compared to medium wave. So maybe in the future they can change that around a little bit. But yeah, that'd be nice to get, like, say, 100 medium wave. That would be nice to see. Uh, so that's your presets. Uh, pretty basic how they, how they do that. I like how they do that. And they also have a pretty cool preset lock, which we'll talk about. So let's look at some buttons here. Uh, starting on the left-hand side, we have airband. When it says P scan, that means a page scan. So it's like a nine channel scanner. It works really well. I'll have a little video of that, I'm sure. Uh, FM, ATS, uh, auto tuning storage. It works out pretty good. Um, you can press and hold the band key and it'll auto tune. And it stores, uh, I think, strongest to weakest. And if it and if you do it again, it needs to overwrite. It always overwrites with the strongest stations first and the weakest get deleted. Something to know. Uh, here's your long wave, medium wave button with the ATS, and down here, short wave uh, with ATS and meter bands. So you can check out your different meter bands. Numeric keypad for direct entry of frequencies. 
and you'll notice it has meter bands written there. And you have an alphanumeric display for naming your presets, but usually you can use the jog wheel here. That's what I use to name them. Uh, other buttons here, your timer, you got three of them. Those three alarm timers I was talking about. Our single sideband button. Frequency to enter manual frequencies. Uh, you got the M key for entering uh, manually the presets. Uh, enter confirmation for menu choices and for presets. C for canceled presets or deleting presets. Decimal point, uh, usually used in FM. Uh, and I think the airband, you have to use decimal points. Over here, we have the bandwidth control. This radio has auto bandwidth, which is pretty interesting, but for medium wave, I like to manually control it. But like on airband and FM, it was really nice leaving it on auto. If you look up there, there's a little symbol. It says M with a key. That's to memory lock the preset. It's really neat. You can actually lock your preset so it does not get deleted when you do an ATS. That's one thing I hated about radios. You'd have all these nice, cool, manually laid out presets, and you hit this ATS by mistake, and they're wiped out. Now with this radio, you can actually lock all your presets that you want. Loving that. Page function, so you can access the different pages. you got nine presets per page. Uh, again, you get 27, so you divide that by three for your medium wave. So you get three pages of medium wave, but they can, each one can be named, which is nice. Each preset. Edit is to edit the preset name, or if I'm shortwave, the page of the shortwave that you're on. Uh, info button. Uh, this will show a signal strength indicator. It'll show memory bank you're on. It'll show signal uh, to noise ratio. I'll show that to you while we tune. And an info, or uh, sorry, down here, uh, this says menu. So if you press and hold this, uh, you can see the different menu choices you have here. And I'll just go through real quick. Scan delay for scanning. My version is 073. Uh, all right, factor reset, uh, manual time control, uh, format for the time, backlight uh, timing, FM stereo, soft mute for FM. So there you go. Pretty basic. A lot of FM choices. This is definitely an FM radio by far. Uh, medium wave does a fair job, but mine has spurious tones, which we're going to get to. Uh, hopefully I get to it because uh, there's a lot to this radio. Um, up and down tuning controls, as you saw here, jog wheel, step control for fine and coarse tuning. Um, over here, our button for the squelch control. Uh, we have a light control here. You can change the brightness, turning it off and on. Power button, sleep function. Charge indicator, if you have nickel metal hydride batteries, it has a smart charging system. Plug in the AC adapter and it will charge the batteries overnight. Right inside of the radio, you can see switches. We have a lock switch. We have a music, normal, and news. I think normal is the best setting for medium wave. We'll try that. Uh, bandwidth control, manual, and auto. Pretty neat when you're on short wave, where the signals go back and forth. And at night on medium wave, it's, it's nice to have it on auto. But for now, for daytime, I'll leave it on manual. Here's our volume control. It's kind of a narrow knob. And it's Mine's kind of hard to move around a little bit. It's kind of stiff, but I think it'll break in. Top of the radio, you can see we got some buttons. Time set, uh, day, daylight savings time, and uh, world home time. Dynamic X2, memory presets, and all the bands it covers. Also, it has a stainless steel whip antenna, 46 inch. That's for your FM, airband, and shortwave. Not for medium wave. Medium wave uses an internal antenna or an external if you hook it up to the jack there. Kick out stand with the world time chart. And down here it shows the frequencies of covers and the way the batteries are inserted. There's a little switch inside. I'm not going to open up the battery door. It's too much time involved. But there's a switch in there that you can switch from alkaline to nickel metal hydride so you don't charge your alkalines by mistake. So let's do a quick size comparison. Then we'll start cruising the band. So first radio I'd pick up is CC Pocket. As you can see, this radio is decent size. Same size as the 909X. Uh, which I like. I like using my 909X with the external antennas. Works out fantastic. Here you go. Here is the CC Skywave. Okay. And then, of course, I have a deck of cards uh, for size comparison. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves Sanjin radios from China land. He's Iron Man. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. But yeah, that's a standard deck. There you go. Somebody asked me, how big is that? Standard. It's three by five, probably. So there it is. Cool. All right. Iron Man rocks. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Beautiful display. I love it. So let's go over what we're seeing. Local time, 11.02, Central Standard Time. Near, I'm near Chicago, Illinois again. Battery life indicator, bandwidth uh, wide. 
You can see it narrowed down as I hit the buttons. Uh, so far bandwidth, 6 kilohertz, 4, 3, 2.5, and 1.8. That's how that works. Uh, here we have our frequency we're on, and we have uh, fine control right now, 1 kilohertz tuning. I hit this again, and I go faster, 10 kilohertz tuning. I'll leave it on fine. I do like that for the jog wheel. Our 10-step uh, signal strength over here. Uh, medium wave, the band we're on, the page we're on, our presets, and I have them named, and we'll check them out in a little bit. And, of course, we can tune with these buttons. You hold them down, and you go really fast, too, or seek tune with these buttons. But I'm going to be using the jog wheel mainly. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Well, as you can hear, my radio has uh, spurious tones. There's something inside generating these tones on certain frequencies. At night, it's real noticeable. During the day, you'll hear these high-pitched whine coming from the radio. And I, and I check with my other radios, and it's fine. I took this outside. The tones were still there. So it's definitely something built into my radio. So 540 has it. Uh, it's going to use the internal ferrite bar antenna to uh, get the to receive the signals on medium wave. Just so you know, I'm not going to use an external antenna, but I might plug one in just to show you that it eliminates the spurious tones. So it's directional tuning. So when you tune your radio, this uh, ferrite antenna inside the radio is usually horizontally mounted, and you aim it towards the station you're trying to receive. 540 is in Milwaukee, or Jackson, Wisconsin, towards Milwaukee. Uh, and it's WAUK, so let's turn it. Should come in. There it is. And you can hear the high pitch whine. So let's eliminate that whine. You can bring a passive loop in, like the Turk, and sometimes that eliminates it. Let's see. I'll put a perpendicular to the radio and tune it. Wrong way. There you go. So I can mitigate it there a little bit just by using a passive loop. But I really want to eliminate it. Let's check this out. I'll show you something fun. Um, I'm going to bring this up a little bit so you can see this. And then we'll get tuning really fast. Because I just like doing this as a primer. I have a twin coil C crane, which is fantastic. This is a ferrite antenna, which is awesome. I'm going to go ahead and just use the antenna jack here. I'm going to do a full dedicated scan with this device. Just wanted to show you how this eliminates the birdie tone on 540. Um, okay, so I'm going to take the. This is the main antenna. I'm going to keep it away from the radio. I'm going to turn this towards the station, and you can hear it tuning. So let's go ahead and turn on this. Let's tune it. Fossil fuels to keep their profits high. Since Jimmy Carter proposed that, well, I'll get into all that in just a, in a little bit. Also, in, in our second hour, the shock of the autocrats, money, and corruption. And uh, in the full second hour, Congressman Ro Khanna will be with us for the whole So long. using external antennas is really cool. Impressive. Uh, national town hall meeting with So him. now if I unplug uh, this, also, uh, You'll hear that. Memorial Day and the new CDC the high pitch wine still there. Okay, let's keep going. Portions of the following show may be pre recorded. The world can be a confusing. 560 WIND Chicago. You need answers with Dennis Prager. Sold on climate change. I ride a Harley, dude. Okay? <laughs> uh, that's what, that's my. Here's 580 WILL, Urbana, Illinois. It's 150 miles south, but you can aim the radio to the north, and it's bi-directional, so it picks up both directions. It's got the high pitch whine going. As you can hear. If we plug in the twin coil, we can eliminate it. With all the reports from the UN intergovernmental panels, there was just a code red report within the last week or two. We have spent so much money. You talk about climate change, and then you have someone like John Kerry flying over in a private jet. So using twin coil. Tornadoes in the middle of December. 
I'm going to get there's the spurious tones in the radio. It's pretty bad. We'll keep going. Uh, just picking up WKZO, Kalamazoo, Michigan, 140 miles. Six ten has a really bad tone. You can hear it now. It's really strong at night. Seems to be the key, right? No one's eating. No one's eating raw beef. Nobody eats raw beef. No, not it's, at it's all. First of all, it's it's this big, you know. It's hot. WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. If you can get your teeth through it, they end up in wrong. soups a lot, right? Well, borscht and things like that. <laughs> Here's 640 WMFN, Piatone, Illinois, another spurious tone. Be comfortable with that and accept it and just understand the truth of it, that they're two different uh, WCR, Chicago, home of the Cubs, a uh, very strong station, as you can see, 10 of single strength. If I turn it 90 degrees away from the uh, station, you will hear some tones. Adaptations, either for TV or, or movie, are softer. There has to be some sort of happy ending, and a lot of times it's not happy, the endings, and characters are a lot more caustic and a lot more hateable in book form or in real So yeah, it has some facts issues. Facts are different. 700. It has the, at night. It gets really loud. Expert, do the work for you. It's time to take serious so, control there you go. of your investing. It's preset one, WGN, Chicago, and, live customer and as you can see, it's preset locked. Platform. Has a lock symbol for number one. Or just starting out, domain money is beautifully designed. This is my radio. On EWTN Radio, Ace is our WNDZ Portage, Indiana. Social media, Matt Gavinsky is screening. This is Rick Sparando from Black Diamond. We can't control the weather. But we WBBM, 780, W, yeah, Chicago, Illinois. You never know when your sump pump may fail. And if it does, I think a little quicker to get through the bands. I don't know what this is. This shouldn't be anything. We're getting some kind of tone. Now, some people don't have this problem with this radio, so uh, mine might be one of the few that have this issue. The Russian conventional doctrines. So, for example, Putin exercised uh, seven different nuclear-capable weapons. And um, version zero seven three, by the way. I was going to show you, but the radio's got to be off. So this is this WCPT Willow Springs, Illinois. Hesitant. That's WHAS, we were wondering what that was. There we go, preset four. WNOV, Milwaukee, got a little bit of a spurious tone there. You can hear it in tune. Putin's invasion will be a total failure just days after Moscow launched its... 890 WLS Chicago? Apparently, according to this report, Russians... They're buying it because of the value that they're getting with the great service... Great WOKY, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the Big Badger. It's worked with a lot of great companies like Erie Insurance and a lot of others that are more local. How did you pick... Things? But that, that was for a greater good. It's important to know that detachment is a means... Spurious tone on WBKM, uh, Sandwich, Illinois, Relevant Radio. ...of detaching is always... This is 940 WFAW for Atkinson, Wisconsin. Let's put the tone to... Uh, whoops, nope. Let's put the uh, tone... Middle one. Okay, to music. But I that I... I moved it back to news. But never to be dependent on them. 950 WNTD, Chicago. Sense of depending on them for happiness. Immigration 
the bad news is the same as the 970 good. WHA Madison, Wisconsin. Hostilities are as because the, the big guy that they got in, I like him at right WMVP Chicago, Illinois. ESPN. Brad Biggs wrote this in his column this week about Jenkins. He's suggesting. No more. Me. Uh, this is 1030 WNVR, Vernon Hills, Illinois. Out any time your bank account. 1050 WLAP, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Just download the free GetUpside app and use promo code BOOST for up to 50 cents a gallon cash back on your first tank. That's code BOOST. We're out of the brand name, but we you do have a more version of Serene Pharmacy. You could try to eliminate some of those uh, spurious tones by bringing the bandwidth down and adjusting the gain, but then you lose your uh, readability of the station listening to what you want to listen to, so it kind of defeats the purpose. Indeed. Indeed you do. Instant Match instantly connects you with quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your sponsored job description. Uh, WEKZ. I'm sorry, not, not the WHFB, Benton Harbor, Michigan, 95 miles away. Sure there's nobody sitting there. And you probably wait until the fourth quarter. Good. Hey, well, fourth quarter, uh, mainly baseball games is really I do. That's like the fourth thing. Oh, so the fourth thing. WTSO, Madison, Wisconsin. You can feel like, feel like I'm good. Okay, this is WNWI, Oakland, Illinois. Durante estos días que estaremos caminando WXCS, Chicago. en el desierto, I'm going quick because I gotta get to the band and man aircraft. So to stop that, we'd have to actually shoot WISM, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, soil because they can fire into Ukrainian airspace. You know, the escalation potential here is very real. And I think Notice the meter climbs as I tune it towards the station. Senator Marco Rubio, if you want a Twitter feed. A bit of a tone there. Insist on lifting sanctions and going forward with this flawed WYLL, Hope for Your Life, Chicago, Illinois. Totally ignoring what is WSQRs. Sounds like it's off the air. WRTO, Chicago. Tap these buttons go real quick. WKRS, Waukegan, Illinois. Like I said, it does rule well uh, with its internal antenna versus the older radio. Uh, WCLO of Janesville, Wisconsin. For a while until they get acclimated to... WSBC, Chicago. WSSP Milwaukee. Music here, cool. WEKZ is coming in nice. Monroe, Wisconsin, 60 miles away. Uh, sun up's been about uh, five and a half, six hours. Religious station. If I know what it is, I'll post it here. That is on the uh, website as well. If you WBIG, Aurora, Illinois. The call, we can help you out with the wine club. The Wine Exchange, STC. Sounds like radio shopping going on. Here's the fonds. Not picking that up. WRDZ, LaGrange, Illinois. Russians essentially laying out. WIBA, Madison, Wisconsin. 
your friend and jeweler for over 92 years. Bush Jewelers were saving you money. WNTA Rockford. Four up 85, July wheat up 20 and three quarters, 11.96. WLBK, DeKalb, Illinois. And three quarters up 13 and three quarters, March bean meal four. They've been struggling to get pregnant, so her younger sister offered to be their surrogate. Uh, this is WBEL, South Beloit, Illinois. Usually plays good music. Yeah, thing. And getting her sister pregnant. Oh, gospel sisters. Tune in tomorrow and celebrate the special woman in your life. WGRB, Chicago, uh, gospel radio. WRJN, Racine, Wisconsin. More music. For six bucks. And if you happen to have a spotted fox ale house of Carpentersville, that $15 certificate Tune in off frequency to get rid of that harmonics you can, uh, or uh, trade it tones. In, uh, in a redemption center. They're uh, closed it right now. High pitch, and if it's coming through to you. Again, uh, Tuesday through Friday uh, from, uh, from 9 till 2, and then Saturday from 10 to 2. Uh, now, of course, El Diablo Cantina is valued at. I'm going to buy a radio off the radio. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're almost done. WEF, Deerfield, Illinois. Nice. Here's the auto. I'll leave the auto bandwidth now so you can get an idea how that works. You can see it's changing with the signal strength. In an insane world. Making history every day for uh, WROK Rockford, Illinois. Dr. Gorka here, and you know me. I am very cynical about products, especially those that claim to help people suffering from pain. So when I tell you that Relief Factor truly works, I want you to In know time. that I mean it. I suffered from a stiff lower WRLL, Cicero, Illinois. So I have on auto, Just keeping it low. Pick up those stations. Here's Iron Country, WGEZ, uh, Beloit, Wisconsin. As you can see, it opened it up a little bit. So it's a fairly smart, fairly smart uh, auto, especially on shortwave. It definitely works well. Uh, this is uh, WPJX, Zion, Illinois, Hard Rock. Yeah. Go! You supposed to be coming up with new parts and new ideas and new visions and new... WLUV loves Park, Illinois. Just picking up WGLB, Port Washington, Wisconsin. I do like this jog wheel, by the way. This jog wheel's uh, improved over the older model. Much smoother. Uh, pretty much a, a joy to use. I like it. WCGO, Evanston, Illinois. Okay, WTTN, Watertown, Wisconsin. Again, that auto bandwidth kicking in. There you go, traffic advisory radio. This will speak of God in the most radical way. It's a very inspiring book. WSJP, Sussex, Wisconsin, as you can tell, definitely tuning the radio by turning it is much better if you don't. I go over here. It improves. How we can let go of those so that we can have that reliance on God. Cool, we're almost done. 
The zone W O Z N Madison. W B O N Berwyn uh, or Chicago Illinois. Nice, and we're done. Okay, cool. So there it is, the daytime band scan without using any external uh, passive loops or twin coils, which I'm going to, though, uh, in the future, I'm going to be doing a twin coil uh, band scan. So if you are interested in that, uh, this radio definitely has uh, spurious tones. It's very annoying. This radio will go back because my number two key uh, doesn't quite work right. Uh, so I might have got a return from somebody. I'm not sure. But the spurious tones are really rough in the evening. If, if I haven't published that video yet, I'll wait for it. It uh, will show you uh, that it this particular radio has problems with the medium wave band. It also shows up on the short wave band at night at lower frequencies. I've noticed it. So uh, it is a little bit annoying. Um, otherwise, is this radio worth buying? Uh, it is if you like FM, you like the air band, because those two really are exceptional with this radio. I'm really impressed. Um, and shortwave broadcasts, if it didn't have spurious tones, and the medium wave, if it didn't have spurious tones, would be fantastic with that auto bandwidth. Uh, just a treat. Um, I love naming my presets. I love locking them. Um, so this radio has a lot going for it if they could get rid of those tones. And, a, and the speaker is just a much better sounding speaker too. So overall, I'm pretty impressed, except for those spurious tones and my bad key. So this radio is going back. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait probably about a year. And then I'm going to buy it again, and I'm going to see if they've improved it and fixed those issues. Uh, but as you can tell, yeah, on version 073, somebody in Europe has the same problems with their radio. Uh, they'll get to see my video, hopefully, and, yeah, say the same things that they had the same problem I did. And, of course, we have our light here. You can change it. So, neat, neat button. I like that light. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed the daytime medium wave band scan. I enjoyed making these videos. Uh, two, if you like Sanjin products, you want to see more band scans, you want to see more shortwave radios, hit subscribe at the bell icon, get notified of future reviews. And three, comment below what you think about the Sanjin 909, 909X2, if I could say that right. <laughs> uh, would you pick it up? Do you like it? Um, again, it seems like a lot of people don't have the problems I do. So maybe there's like a small percentage of bad radios out there. Uh, so I predict, I have an example. So, you know, when you buy one, if you have the same thing, it's not right. Most radios don't have these spurious tones on the AM band. They shouldn't be there. Uh, so if yours has it, return it. That's all I can say. But because uh, it's a great radio, uh, I don't mind it, except for single sideband used. Uh, it's definitely not a good radio for single sideband. If you're going to want to use single sideband, pass on this radio. So just putting it out there. All right, guys, take care, and we'll see you in my next video.